Hello everyone and welcome back to another vlog. Today is Friday and it's almost midday, which is kind of sucky because I thought I'd been further along by this point, but it's been very hectic. I've been working this morning uh, from home after uh, dropping Xavier to school. My mom came by because she's been helping me wash the baby's clothes and get that all sorted. And the cleaning company is here doing a deep clean on the home as well. So um, it's a lot of things that were happening, but um, today's a very busy day. So I'm like, you know what, let me just do a quick day in the life vlog. So like I said, it's midday and all I've done so far is just drop Xavier to school, work and deal with house issues. Right now I'm dying my hair as usual. <laughs> I have to do this like every month because the hair is just growing exponentially with this pregnancy, which means it's all gonna drop off, but that's okay. Um, after I take this out and um, get ready, then, which I'm trying to rush to do so that they can come and clean this bathroom when I'm finished, me and my mom are gonna go to the hardware store because that's where it's at apparently. I have to get some pillows, I have guests coming again and um, I also have to get uh, some rods for the baby's closet. There's a few things I need to pick up for the hardware store you'll see when I get there and some light bulbs for this bathroom. After that, my kettle and my toaster is here. They just called me. So um, we are going to go pick that up and by the way, my vanity mirror and stool came. I don't like the stool, but I love the mirror. So I'll show you guys that. What I also want to do before the helper cleans in here, actually, I need to wash my makeup brushes. So I'm going to do that while the hair dye is setting. Um, I'll wash most of them. Obviously not the one I'm going to use today. And then we're going to go through and um, organize my makeup vanity as best I can in the short period of time that we have. Uh, so I have to get that done as well. Um, what else do we need to do? I want to do grocery shopping today. One, because Xavier's sports day is tomorrow. So I don't know that I'm going to have time to do it tomorrow. And I, after the chaos from last week, I'm not really in the mood to carry Xavier to the supermarket um, tomorrow. To be honest with you, while I'm pregnant in this last stage of pregnancy, I don't want to be holding him if I don't need to unnecessarily. Like, I, I just... I need, we need to just, just play on the weekends and just relax and enjoy our time together. So I'm going to see if I can make it to the grocery store today. I also want to go pick up my sunscreen because I've been running around for a whole week without any sunscreen. So there's, oh, and the most important thing I need to do, well, two, um, I need to make sure that I get some new bottles because the bottles that I had for Xavier, he's already chewed through all of those so they no longer work for a newborn. And um, I also need to look for some baby hangers they don't have any more and then i need to look for a maternity bag if i can't find what i'm looking for here locally i will quickly buy one tonight on amazon or um, zara or wherever i can i can find one that i like but um i do need to get my bag packed because it is now coming to the point where it's any day the baby can just show up even though i have a set day because i'm doing a c-section doctor says that's obviously not sure so there's a lot of things that we're going to do today uh I'm trying not to get overwhelmed and overheated because I can when I feel like, oh, I'm gonna run out of time, which I, I will, because I gotta go pick up Xavier for five o'clock. And in between all this, you know, we gotta maneuver the wonderful traffic that's here in the Cayman Islands. But I make the best of the day anyways. I did wanna go and fit in some time to get my nails done, just my fingers, but it doesn't seem like I'm gonna be able to do that today. So, uh, I'm going to have to do that over the weekend, maybe during a nap time or something, see if I can schedule a quick nail appointment. So that's what's happening. I hope you guys are doing really well. I don't think I started off asking you guys how you were doing. I hope you all are well and blessed. Uh, and um, yeah, let me finish this, get ready, and then we can, uh, I'll show you my vanity and we will, my mom will help me put up my jewelry organizer. I need to dump some of those old jewelry because they, you know, the cheap ones that they change color. I don't need to keep those anymore. So I'm gonna go through that, really like organize that space. And then once the helper is finished and leave, then we're gonna head out and do all the wonderful errands that we have to do today. So yeah, hopefully a good day. I'm feeling good and that's all that usually matters when I'm not puking my guts out. I'm, I'm, I know I'm gonna have a good day. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. By the way, 
As usual, you know, I use Revlon Color Silk. It's the only dye that I will ever use. So may they never discontinue it because I would be screwed. Okay, this is the mess that we're looking at here. So I'm going to first, oh, you don't want to see my nails. First, I'm going to clean all of these makeup brushes. I'm going to go wash them right now. Um, and then I'm going to go through and see what I want to use, what I want to keep, so I can get this all off of my bathroom vanity. Oh, Ronnie's going to be so happy when he comes home today. It's, it's an eyesore. It really is. And it's, it's, yeah, it's not how it was supposed to be. So clean off all of this, dump what needs to be dumped or expired or what I'm not using. And then um, I'll show you upstairs. I'm very happy to finally get this off, y'all. I think I've even shown this like multiple times in a vlog before. It's really annoying. Yeah, I need to stop talking about the same thing and just get things done. painful um i washed my brushes some of them look like they could still have used a little bit more washing but anyways i did my best i need to get a, a makeup brush brush to like scrub them i've seen people with them maybe i'll look on it, amazon but anyways um this is the mirror which i'm very happy with it came with this stool, which I don't like at all. So I don't know. This is my old stool from my last house. I love this stool and I love the, the beading on it. So I think, and it matches my little candle. So I think I'm gonna keep this stool and then do away with this one somewhere. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and or start organizing my drawers in the little time that we have left before we gotta go. I'm starving. And then we're gonna try and put up this jewelry organizer and there's like all these boxes of makeup and stuff that i gotta go through but we're gonna get there so yeah pretty happy with this whole setup um it's gonna fit really nicely in here i'm probably gonna get some so here is my that gift that ronnie gave me i don't even think you can see it because it's so dark in here um yeah my little model shot that Ronnie took of me and then he he blew it up for me so we're gonna put the jewelry thing here and then I'm gonna see after we mount that what else I want to do for like these little open spaces maybe like a corner shelf um to add more things um I'm gonna make sure that it's it's fitted out nicely eventually but for right now I just need it to be fit for purpose I need to make sure that my makeup is organized and um I can get all dolled up here so yeah Right, so it's six, 18 inches. Okay, fine. Now see how much space so now I put it like this was so kind of centered. All right, so. All right, and then similarly. Okay, cool. That's it. All right, so that's up and it looks it looks good. Right now we're just going to see what stores we can hit before 5.30 so that um, the day is not completely wasted and then pick everything back up tomorrow after Xavier's sports day. Ended up at Burger King because we're pressed for time, there's tons of traffic and we were starving. I'm just gonna chow this down real quick. 
and then get on with whatever errand we can do. Mm. Might as well enjoy it now anyways, because after the baby comes, there will be no more Burger King Impossible Burger. My burger, cucumber, lettuce, that's all I eat from there. Alright, making the first stop quickly to see if they have any bags that I could use from my maternity um, time, my time in the hospital. Um, that's too small. There's some really nice purses here though. Oh my goodness. I'm not seeing anything that I particularly like. Although, looking for something a little bit bigger. I like this though. Do you have this in any other size? No, that's why you see. Oh, oh man. They never had anything in that store. Um, and I, I, yeah, they didn't have anything in the store. So, and we're running for time. It's five o'clock, it's minutes to five. And I'm going to go grab my kettle grab savior and i'll pick up my nephew before 5 30 so i think that might have to be it for the day i i know the exact bag that i want i saw it on amazon so i think i'll just go ahead and place an order tonight and see if i can rush it bef before delivery time so pretty out here today wish we were coming after work to get drinks but we're not drinking right now obviously <laughs> but pretty soon we can get back to happy hour all right, let's get this kettle. This is my kettle, oh, I'm excited. I love this one. First time I come into the store and I'm just in and out because that's all I needed was sunscreen, especially for tomorrow for the sports day. So, yep, now we can go pick up my, my little put-in and then also pick up my nephew and then head home which by the way i do need to get home because all of a sudden my belly is feeling really bad again <laughs> i swear any day i hope i'm vlogging when the baby comes that'll be hilarious my mom is 70 and she does so much for me and she is such a help and it's such a blessing 70 y'all 70 she, she's gonna be 71 this year and look at her go Meanwhile, I can barely walk. <laughs> this is the traffic we talk about. Uh, I mean, literal gridlock. And he is enjoying his fries. One at a time, he's still got in his mouth. He pushed everything in. And he pushed everything. <laughs> I love these. Look how it, I mean, I, could I not have chosen a better color? Oh my goodness. It literally matches with my kitchen. Yeah. Are you ready? Parents, house leaders, teachers, are you ready? Children, are you ready? You're in the red house, you're missing your, your walk. <laughs> oh jeez. Good morning, everyone. We're here at, um, at Xavier's Sports Day. It's a cute little event, and I was so worried because Xavier was in a nasty attitude today. I mean, nasty isn't even the word. He was flinging himself, dropping things all over the place. It was horrible. But um, he just did his first race, and he came first place. So I'm so proud. 
Hey y'all, so we're back home. We've been back home for a while actually because like I said, Xavier was acting out this morning after the sports day where him and Ronnie were running around literally wild. It was so nice, so nicely put together. And I'm a proud mama. My baby came first place. <laughs> uh, yeah, he didn't care, but um, I couldn't even get a photo with him. He's so annoying. He, I'm, I'm, They're trying to get him and, Z and Ronnie to sit, sit still so that I could take a nice little picture and send to the grandmas. You saw Xavier just dumped the, the trophy on the floor, so whatever. He's sleeping, so hopefully after he wakes up, he'll be in a much better mood. Um, I, however, I'm not feeling well, so I'm literally sat here um, going through my makeup now while he's, I put him to sleep, trying to think if I really want to go to the grocery store, I really want to go to the baby store. Um, mom's like, I need to go get these things done because she's really concerned that the baby's coming any day now and um which it, it, it could happen but it's just I'm, I'm feeling sick I'm feeling tired and uh, I, I don't think I can even I don't can't cook I don't I was gonna make my cake and because I'm craving cake but I'm not sure I'm not sure what we're gonna do for the rest of this Saturday my mom is willing to go to the store for me and so is Bonnie so I might just send them to go do some of the things that we need to get done. But um, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how what, what time Xavier wakes up, what mood he's in. In the meantime, I'm back to my makeup desk to sort some things out. Like this is just hanging over my head, so I need to just get this over with and then um, place my Amazon order because I don't know um, I don't know how long my maternity bag and stuff are going to take to come. Oh, sorry. Anyway, I'm rambling. I'm tired. This belly is just like, oh god. <laughs> yeah, it, it's it's been a long, long road, but a good road. It could have been much worse. So, as we continue doing this, um. The only reason I'm thinking I want to go to the store is because that particular store has good vegan food. Well, it depends. It's 2 o'clock, so maybe there's no food left. But um, I could pick up something to eat uh, for dinner because I don't really feel like cooking. And in all of my vlogs, my, my main purpose obviously is sharing vegan food and vegan lifestyle. Ignore the Burger King, that's just because I'm pregnant. But um, normally I like to make sure that I have a, a good meal in a vlog or you know I share with you a nice recipe or something so that you can be encouraged to try them even if you're not vegan but um yeah these days sometimes I cook sometimes I cook and eat sometimes I don't cook so those are like the options like this morning I cooked I didn't eat because I wasn't feeling well morning sickness was was bothering me and then um now I just don't feel like cooking at all I'll just get something on the road I think I'm probably going to bring it up anyway, so what's the point of wasting time in the kitchen? Anyways, let me get to this. Alright, I managed to do one drawer and then I'm going to take a break because, yeah, that's my life right now. But um, I'm, I'm not happy happy with it. I didn't stick them to the, it comes with these things, but um, I, cause I, I'm probably going to move this around when I'm in a better frame of mind. Oh, there's some sunlight. I did go through the rest of the drawers and kind of like play around with all the containers. Ow. So yeah, every drawer has a container. Now whether it's going to stay like that, I don't know when I go through all my makeup. But yeah, it aesthetically it's pleasing. Functionally, it works. Um, and I guess when I do stick them onto the the wood and they shouldn't be floating around and I'll probably be here but yeah these are what I have left a lot so I'm gonna give those to my sister and my mom and they can use them in their kitchen their bathroom whatever but um I might actually take some for my bathroom now that I think about it But yeah, this is my everyday makeup. So I have my foundations that I use every day. The one that I love is NARS, but I'm out. So I'm about to place an order. I keep saying that, but I never do. But this NARS foundation is everything. Uh, the concealer that I had, I don't even know. 
I use these these days because this is all I can find locally when they have my color the L'Oreal concealer it's okay it works it it's not the best concealer and then um, this is my uh, not finishing powder my setting powder I don't really use a setting powder every day because with this foundation you don't even need a setting powder and then every once in a while when I'm feeling generous I will put on some eyeshadow so these are just like my everyday kind of eyeshadow lip gloss uh, lip repair because my lips are forever dry and the one mascara that I have in stock right now because everything is finished and then this is what I use to do my eyebrows this is actually for my sister so I'm Pretty sure she's gonna call me for this when she sees this video I took this from her I need to get my own I need to go to the Mac store but um that's the best so yeah everyday foundation oh yeah and for my lips well you guys have seen that I love these um, NYX uh, lipsticks so I usually use let me bring this one to the top this one by is this Maybelline this is Maybelline. This one by Maybelline I will line my lip with. So I actually have this on now. I had this on from this morning and it doesn't budge. It, it goes nowhere. So this is a very good um, lipstick. What color is this one? If you will focus. I don't even know. Come on, focus, camera, focus, focus. Okay, that's the color. I use this to line my lips and then I use this to fill them in and it's a nice everyday lip look it, it literally lasts all day I'm not even kidding you so these this drawer is my everyday drawer and then another day when I'm feeling like I could be productive I'll fill in the rest of the stuff now the next thing that I just thought about was I had a lot of these drawer things <laughs> um, they look kind of old but um, I, I'm not going to dump them, but I'm just wondering where in the corners I could probably get some floating shelves and stick them up. I have like five. Uh, so, yeah, but that's the problem for another day. Can you believe that Xavier is still sleeping? It's almost three o'clock. That means he ain't going to bed until past 11 tonight. <sighs> Joy. It's, I, even, I, can't, I don't even think I can go to the grocery store now because he's still sleeping. Oh, boy. Woes me. <laughs> I'm hungry now. Okay, I decided to like wake up and just make my cake really quickly because I know Rana was looking forward to this. So I'm going to do that. Um, and I think this is a, a easy and quick enough recipe. Xavier's mad because I turned off his TV. But um, I'm going to use the Jamaican sweet potato. I have four of these. And then I will blend it with some oat milk normally when um it's done i think they use coconut milk but the coconut milk is too harsh on, on my pregnant stomach right now so i'm gonna use a thick creamy oat milk to go with this and then just add my brown sugar uh coconut sugar and my spices ginger cinnamon nutmeg and just a little pinch of salt to bring out the flavor and some vanilla and then uh, blend it all together, put it in the oven, partially um, halfway, I'm going to then take it out, add my topping, which is just consisting of more, it's like a custardy topping of just more milk and sugar. Um, you'll see when I do that. And yeah, we'll have ourselves some sweet potato cake. I'm really excited. I'm hoping that it turns out well because I'm taking every last bit of energy that I have to do this cake. So let's get this done and um, call it a day.
me. You cannot talk to me. This cake turned out so good. So this is a sweet potato pudding. I call it sweet potato cake, but it's technically a sweet potato pudding. Oh my gosh, like I think I filmed the close-up already. And this is the easiest cake you'll ever make, honestly. Let's cut it and give it a try because...